welcome to Pike Place Market. Okay. Okay. My mom and dad, Chris and John, are here with us. We're having a fantastic day, and my dad's making faces at me, so I can't film. <laughs> oh yeah. Get too close. It is huge. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Molly. Behind the camera right now is Isaac, and together we are the West Coasters. different place on the west coast right now we're in Seattle where I'm originally from we're here to visit some family and kick off our summer break and we thought it would be so fun to bring you along to one of our favorite places in the world Pike Place Market we have spots here that we love to eat they're just so delicious we keep coming back to them again and again really it's a tradition to hit a few spots for us here now I want to say Pike Place Market gets really busy on the weekends so if you can come on a weekday like we did that's really helpful it's a gorgeous morning let's walk around the market Thank you. Also, let's go to Alaska. Can I do a half dozen plain? Yeah. Have a good day, guys. You too. It's a beautiful morning here, and we have to kick it off with some donuts. Daily Dozen makes these delicious, fresh mini donuts. They're just the best, and we love them so much. We like them plain, but you can get powdered cinnamon, maple, maple bacon. Always hot and fresh. You gotta love a place with a donut machine. You watch them just being pumped out constantly. Super fresh and super tasty. for something. Yes, right next to the gum wall down the steps from the market is Ghost Alley Espresso. Fantastic coffee, fantastic espresso drinks. I need some more caffeine today and being in Seattle, it's a coffee town, you have to get some. I mean, if you're not getting over caffeinated in Seattle, are you even doing it right? <laughs> Almost there. It's gonna be worth the wait, I think. We have gum. Oh, you can buy gum here. Stick on the wall. Yeah, because we're right by it. Right over there. Hi, I, had, I had saw you in macadamia milk. Yes. Could I get a 12 ounce latte with that milk? Sure. Yeah. I've never tried it, but I gotta try it. Uh, oat milk was my favorite, oat milk, and then I got a mac. Yeah, right on, dude. You place your order at the window at the counter, and then when it's ready, they come out and deliver it, hand deliver it to you through this little door. Well, I really needed that caffeine to kickstart my day. I got a macadamia nut milk latte. I've never even heard of macadamia nut milk, but apparently this place has it and it's kind of a newer dairy-free option. The barista was saying that he prefers it more than oat milk these days, so let's give, give it a try. Let's taste it. Oh, that's really good. It's like a subtle nutty flavor. 
It's a little bit lighter than oat milk. It's not as like creamy, but it's still really, really good. And it's not quite as foamy. I would, I would, I'd recommend if you can't do dairy, give this a try. Does it taste like macadamia nuts? Like ever so slightly it does. It's like pretty mild, but it's good. The infamous gum wall used to be in another location and I heard it got so unsanitary that they had to scrape it off and start over. Now it's down here and oh, better not get too close. It is huge. Um, it's just extending all the way down this alley. People really commit to this. Uh, I guess if you're gonna have a special city tradition, you can get pretty creative. Rachel the pig here at Pike Place Market is a huge piggy bank that they use for donations. It's been around here since 1986. All the money donated goes to help social programs in the area. Hope we get to see a flying fish today. Right behind Rachel the pig is the famous fish market where they throw the fish. It's a great place to get fresh caught, wild caught Alaskan salmon. You can't go wrong, you have to stop by. Check it out. It got very busy very fast. It is busy. Standing around waiting for fish. We're a good start, but we're still really hungry, so let's go to the next spot. It's been a few years since we've been to the market, and one of the spots we wanted to share with you is Uli's. They have amazing sausages, but they close. I guess these things happen, especially coming out of the last few years, so we're a little bummed, but luckily there's plenty more food to try. Farewell, Uli's. We will miss you. Everything Beecher's makes is so delicious, but there's one thing we have to get every time, and that's the cheese curds. You can just grab these containers. There's a small one, there's a large, there's options. So good. No visit to Pike Place Market, in my humble opinion, is complete without visiting Beecher's. The cheese is world famous, and our favorite thing to grab by far is the cheese curds. They taste delicious, it's fun to see them making it, but the best part is they're super shareable. They really pack a lot in there. It's squeaky cheese. It squeaks in your teeth. So good. Oh, how about, a, how about we do a cheese cheers? Cheers! <laughs> Just straight cheese for breakfast. We're so European. We're so dignified here. <laughs> I think a lot of folks miss Post Alley when they come here, but there's some amazing spots, some incredible eateries down here. So if you just walk up the hill from the market a little bit, you can find yourself on Post Alley. Having some of the infamous market spiced tea, but I was just chatting with my dad and he reminded me that we're the only real Seattle natives in our little group today. Where were you born? Downtown Seattle, 6th and Marion. And I was at Northwest Hospital. Northwest Hospital. Cheers to being the OG Seattle natives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now honestly, we were hoping that Uli's would be our big meal of the day, so we're now on the hunt for something a little different. I know we'll find something delicious because it's Pike Place Market, but let's see what we find. <laughs> Look what we found! Dee -dee! Amazing! <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We had to step outside and check out the view. It's fun to see the ferries going by, but also what used to be a busy viaduct is gone now. They're doing tons of construction. I think they're creating a whole new tourist, pedestrian friendly setup. It's gonna be incredible when they're done. We'll have to come back and see what it's like. Pike Place Market is home to the original Starbucks. There's a giant line that always goes around the block. If that's something that is fun for you and interesting for you, knock yourself out. We only have so many line moments we're willing to commit to today, and this is one of them, Poroshki Poroshki. I think out of all of our spots, this is my favorite. Can I get a mushroom and a uli sausage and a marzipan roll? I was so excited when I saw that they had a, I believe it's like a cheddar jalapeno sausage from Uli's in one of their pastries here, Proshki Proshki. I can't wait to try this, it looks incredible. That is insanely good. It does have like that nice spicy, peppery flavor to the sausage with cheese. The pastry is like super light and flaky. It's really delicious. You can't skip this place when you come here. Our all-time favorite pastry from Poroshki is definitely the marzipan pastry. We love almond. The marzipan on the inside, from what I remember, is really good. But let's see if it's still as good as I remember. Oh yeah. Let me get in the middle for the, for the marzipan. It's the marzipan in the middle that I love. Marzipan pastry, Poroshki Poroshki, favorite Pike Place market food item, period. This is magic in a pastry. Cheers. If it's your first time here or you're from out of town, you might not be aware of this, but Pike Place Market is actually on Pike Place, the street. So this is a functioning street. There's cars going by. Just be careful where you're walking because you don't want to get hurt. And the other piece of advice I'd tell you, don't drive down this street. Just don't. If you're coming here, go straight to a parking garage nearby. Don't set your map and say like, set it and forget it and just start driving here. Don't drive down the street. Just find a place to park. If you love delicious food and treats as much as we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, but also hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. We have a summer full of incredible plans we want you to come with us. For me, it's so fun to explore the market and I love that I was able to get my Uli's sausage knowing they had closed down their cafe. So that was cool, but I think it's now time for us to sit down, have another Seattle iconic beverage with Molly's folks who came here with us. Gotta get a beer. their seasonal sour. I have no idea what it is. We just got here. John said that he got this for me, so it's really good. Visiting Seattle and Pike Place Market is reason enough to come here, but our number one reason for being here is to visit my parents. Now they're getting in on it. <laughs> my mom, John, and my mom. <laughs> my mom and dad, Chris and John, are here with us. We're having a fantastic day and my dad's making faces at me so I can't film. <laughs> Had to grab myself a pail. This is a Citra Pale Ale. Let's see if it's good. Super hot poured, crisp, refreshing, right up my alley. I got the West Coast IPA. It's one of my favorite styles of beer. And because we're in Seattle, in the Pacific Northwest, where this beer was, in my opinion, perfected, I wanted to give this a try. It's delicious. It's nice and citrusy and kind of grassy, kind of piney, and just like a sharp, crisp finish. Delicious. 
This is one of my favorite spots to end a busy day at the market because not only is the beer good, the food's good too, but it has this incredible view. If you just look out from your table, they have these huge floor to ceiling windows and this kind of funky warehouse space. You can see the water, see the ferries going by, see the Seattle, the Seattle Ferris wheel. It's a really great place to hang out and relax. Gotta represent, gotta have that swag. Oh yeah got to represent. Very nice. Good beer? Delicious beer. Very good. Classic. Well, West Coaster friends, it's been so fun bringing you along with us to one of our favorite places. We love Seattle and a little part of our hearts is always here in this city. And until next time, cheers! Welcome to Flight Flip Flip Flip! <laughs> Mom, wait for the camera. Okay, when you run the credits, I want you to put on the credits, assistant, associate, intern, cameraman. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll have my people call your team. All right. What are we getting next? Gotta get some coffee. So we're gonna hit up Ghost Alley. Straight up to fish. <laughs> and furthermore, you're, you're not on the camera. You're. I thought you saw. Did you see? What I wish you had that. Did you Mom wants to be in the video. What are we doing next? What are we doing next, Mom? I was just. <laughs> okay.